Top 10 Terrific Tales from the Del Mar Flat Track It seems like motorcycle events do best when they climb onto the back of equestrian ones. The horsey set has a lot of nice facilities that don't require you to drive beyond the pyramids. 10. Bricks and Stratton Class I didn't even know any of these things were still around. Can you still get plans to build your own in the back of Boys Life magazine? 9. Various other things that are still running. Old Japanese motorcycles never die, until you really need them to run, anyway, they just get turned into flat trackers. The plethora of old two-strokes and Yamaha SR500S and Honda XRs running around under everybody from rotund old guys to little girls was time warp amazing. 8. Roland Sands Design Star Bolt. This one just got back from the European show circuit. According to RSD project manager, and flat track racer, Cameron Brewer, the Bolt is a pretty hot item. RSD modified a bunch of its HD parts to fit and run up the proverbial flagpole. 7. Classic Bikes and Classic People The 1937 Yellow Terrier Big Base Scout Factory Racer has won races every year since it was built, under more than 25 national caliber riders. 6. This guy. I never did manage to track him down in the crowded pits, and in the results he's ironically referred to only as Sissy Bar, the man without a number. 5. What Teddy said. It is not the critic who counts, nor the man who points how the strong man stumbled or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. 4. Richard Pollock. Our friend Mule walks the walk as well as he builds fine custom street trackers and things. Somebody told me he took all the gears out of his CRF450R except second, which sounds just like something he would do. 3. The actual Preston Petty. Say, who's the other guy racing a zero besides Troy Sayahan, and where'd he get the swell coveralls? The Preston Petty. I know that name from the plastic fender he invented back in the 60s that pretty much defined. 2. Deep end of the talent pool. Like so many things, the people who are good at it make flat track look easy and graceful. Number 87 Jeff Johnson knows exactly what he's doing on the old SR500 but still got beat by 13 punks in the open pro main. 1. 4-time AMA Superbike Champ Josh Hayes I wouldn't have known number 41 was the champ at all if I hadn't bumped into him in the pits. I know Josh Hayes is a good emser but I don't know how much flat track he's done.